It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday and welcome to another studio vlog. Uh, today's vlog agenda is I really really need to get my Easter pins sent off so I need to design an Easter pin today. I'm sorry for the traffic noise. I've got the window open because it's boiling in here today. Um, I need to create an Easter pin and I want to make putting the dog into like an Easter egg or maybe a bunny. I'm not quite sure which one. I did do some sketches on like a little scrap piece of paper and um, I think I really like the idea of an egg because it looked really cute. So, But I really, really need to send those off because Easter is in like five weeks and usually that's how long pins take to come. Again, I've left it last minute. I know I should have learnt from my Valentine's washi tapes. And you have just seen me open my Valentine's washi tapes and I really hope you like them so a lot of people ask me who my manufacturers are etc etc i actually use my pin manufacturer for these um and i think they outsourced it to someone else and to be honest guys i'm not too happy with how the print quality has turned out they look super super cute in my diary but they have slight pixelation but i don't know if it's pixelation or just the way prints prints on washi i know washi tape isn't normally like the best print quality ever it's not going to be like an art print so i'm not quite sure how i feel about it but emily literally told me to chill out and stop being such a perfectionist and that they are so cute and they will be launching in my store on sunday which is good Woohoo! i'm really happy with the colors the colors have turned out perfect just like i sent them and you can still see the image nice and clearly and everything so I don't know, I don't know if I'm being too fussy, but they are really cute and I'm really, really excited to use them. I've kept a few tapes for myself in my own planner. Uh, what else? Today's studio vlog agenda is to get that Easter uh, pin sent off and I also need to restock the baby shark because there's only one left in my Etsy store. So by the time you're watching this, it's probably sold out. And I also need to restock the Huga pins as well. So I need to send them off. So. A lot to do really and I also need to restock stickers because I've sold out of a lot of my stickers so my crickets are going to be on in the background which does my heading because it gives me a really bad idea. So now I'm just going to get my sketchbook out and we are going to do some sketches and see if we can create a new put in the dog enamel pin. Let's go! shall we i thought i would just show you a sample of the washi tape so the actual quality of the washi tape is lovely like they've got a slight sheen to them and they're very very nice and the love heart one's absolutely fine but it's the ones with images on i don't know if you can see but if you look super super closely hang on i need to move you in the light if you look super closely they are like slightly pixelated can you see as if the jpeg hasn't been high quality enough and it's been compressed this is my first time ordering washi tape, so if you have any experience with washi tape, uh, please let me know and let me uh, know if this is normal. I just don't know. This will look cute though, don't they? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I've finished my sketches for the Easter pudding and I think I'm going to stick with the egg because I think it's really cute and I think I'd like it to have pastel colours within the enamel pin so I'm not sure if I need to do the line separately because screen printing will be really expensive I think if I have that many colours and the colours I've used are the Copic Chow in Iridescent Mauve, uh, Copic Chow in Yellow um rose pink and what else did i use i used this one which is the aqua blue one as well and i also used the arteza one was it this color i used in purple iris the only thing is these aren't as good for lining because i like to use uh, pencils for lining because they've got quite a soft um pencil nib but I used it anyway. Uh, that's why it's got this soft shadow. But this one is my favourite one. I think I like the way his cheeks are bunched in as if he's been squeezed into the egg. So I think I'm going to put this one on to Procreate now. Uh, which is just over there on my iPad. And I'm going to do him digitally. I like this one as well but I think it's just plain. Because it's quite a lot of surface area. I did like the bunny one but the costume didn't go right. Plus I coloured in this bit by an accident. Um... I do like him as a bunny, he's really cute. Maybe next year I could do him as a bunny, I don't know. But the egg is my favourite, definitely. So I'm going to put this into Procreate now and I'm going to mess around with it digitally. Let's go, shall we? just been designing some new enamel pins and sending them off i've actually done a small enamel pin and the easter bunny i actually redrew the easter bunny as you will have seen on procreate because i just wasn't happy with how the outline turned out i didn't like it at all um, and now i've just designed two more ranges of washi tapes now when i said my last washi tapes were slightly pixelated on the washi tapes i think this was actually my fault now i double checked the file that i sent to my manufacturer and the quality was poor on my end and i must have exported it accidentally and reduced the and I must have compressed the JPEG by accident so I am now stuck with 400 washi tapes that are slightly slightly pixelated they still look really really cute and I'm really happy with the design but I think with my launch on Sunday I'm going to offer them at a discounted price so I've made two more washi tapes and I'll show you now because they looked really really cute and I really like how they turned out so so the first washi tape is this small one so it's got the cute little s'mores having a sleep and a little butt s'more here and then I also did a pencil one because I think this would be really really cute in sketchbooks and stuff and I would really like this on uh, packages that I send my customers as well. So they're the two washi tapes I've done. So for the small enamel pin I've decided to go for rose gold. I know it's not like this one because these are blues but you can't get blue enamel or not that I know at least my manufacturer only does like rose gold gold silver plate in black nickel etc so i've had to change the color scheme slightly to this rose gold one and i, I felt it looked really nice and i think this will look really cute on a pin and i finished my easter pudding pin so this will be super super small so i wanted to keep the details quite minimal because this will be only one inch in size i've got all the panettone here this is going to cost quite a lot because i've got individual screen prints and the more colors you have the more expensive it is but he looks really cute with his little squishy cheeks am i right i really don't know how i've missed the pixelation on the um washi tapes like i said emily said she didn't even notice until i point out and i asked the girls downstairs and they really 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 liked it so i'm still gonna sell them and they still do look cute it's just that slight pixelation and i did do a test print for them as well so i don't know how i didn't see it or maybe it's just because i'm being hypercritical and I'm looking 
looking at them and I'm trying to find the faults and stuff in them but never mind um so yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do a test print of the washi tape and then I'm going to call it a day I'll show you what the test print ends up looking like my crickets have been on today cutting out some Alistock stuff uh, and I'll show you how it turns out pretty much let's go shall we okay so I've finished printing out the washi tape and I think it looks pretty cute. The size is perfect of the illustrations because you can still make out the illustrations nice and clearly, which is really good. Uh, the print hasn't printed the right colours uh, just because I had it on the wrong print setting, but it doesn't matter. It gives me the gist. I just need to double check that you can see everything clearly and you can. And they look really cute. I think they will make such cute washi tapes. I can't wait for them to arrive. I also would like to do like a catnip head to have her head on some washi tapes and that would look really cute for my parcels and stuff. But that's something that I'll probably do at a later date. But for now I'm gonna send off these uh, to get a quote for them with a different manufacturer and see what they say. But how cute will these turn out? Oh my goodness. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. It's now Thursday. I haven't filmed much this week because we have just been doing the nitty gritty of the business like packing orders and stuff like that and yesterday I opened a Patreon so it's not open to the public just yet but today I'm going to be spending the whole day basically doing Patreon trying to do a new video even though look at my eyes guys look how small and swollen they are at the minute since bringing in Fluffy, my cat, to the house, my allergies have been going crazy. I am allergic to cats even though I freaking love them. But it's just something I'm willing to put up with. But that just means you're going to have to deal with these small eyes. Um, so not the greatest day to film loads of videos really, but that is what it is. I'm going to have to deal with it. And I'm just going to map out my tiers, what I can offer, what I think um, will be good for my patrons. If you want to become a patron, let me know in the comments what you would like to see. I can't physically ship out any physical products, which is a shame because it would have been really fun to do some sort of enamel pin club. A lot of people recommended that last time and kind of like send out stickers and stuff. But the problem is with my Etsy store as well, um, it would be too hard for me to balance both, I think, um, even with Emily in because my Etsy store is quite busy. So... I'm focusing mainly on content, so exclusive videos, behind the scenes, sketchbook tours before anyone else and things like that, which is going to be really fun. So I've got a Midori sketchbook and I haven't really shared it anywhere because I've just been having fun in it. I've been really, really putting this off, guys, because I'm really worried about it. I'm not sure why. I think it's like the whole money for content thing, but then I do put a lot, a lot of effort into my content and a lot of people have messaged me saying, please, will you open a Patreon because I'd like to see exclusive uh, content and the one to support me which is so nice I can't even believe it thank you so so much so that's what I'm gonna do today and I've, I've, I've been putting it off for the last like two months honestly well since before Christmas but now I've got my planner and I'm making a list of all the things and the tiers that I think will be good and yeah that's what I am going to do today. So not really anything much to film, but if anything exciting pops up, I will let you know. Oh my goodness, my eyes are so sore. Look at these. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, all right, let's get into the working day, shall we? now 10 to 12 and i've spent so long researching patreon rewards and then looking at my patrons who i actually pledged to so i pledged to leah lexon sarah faber who's my favorite she's such a babe fran nerd and um 
Olivia Chin Mueller and they are my four patrons and when I was looking at the feed my highest patron pledge is to Sarah Faber she posts so much content she is literally a patreon god she has not been doing patreon very long but she has totally smashed him so so proud of her so i've been looking at their tiers and kind of breaking down what i think i can personally give to my patrons and what i like to see when i'm a patron of them as well like what is my favorite thing as a patron to them that i like to see and what do i subscribe for um, so I have broke it all down in my planner and I've decided that tea Roy is going to be coffee beans and it's going to be two dollars and it's going to be a bi-weekly podcast letter which I've just ordered a microphone of Amazon for it's just a cheap microphone but I bought a microphone on Amazon for that my lens on Patreon as well which will be like it's kind of like Instagram stories lens I think um so but it will be exclusive for my patreon so that's the two dollar one and then for sketchbook friends they are going to get access to access to my sketches and sketchbook before anyone else and sometimes it'll be just exclusive as well so some of the sketches i share might just purely be on patreon uh then a monthly desktop wallpaper and background because olivia chin Mueller, i had her patreon wallpaper on my background for ages and i really really enjoyed that reward so i thought i would offer that reward um and then every month my patrons can change the background which will be cute so then my ten dollar tier which i have called special video friends is going to be an exclusive patreon video to only my patreon ten dollars so it's completely exclusive to them this will include things like studio vlogs that are exclusive to patreon it will be like sit down and sketch with me videos and things like that and personal vlogs as well and then also they will get time lapse illustrations as well so time lapses that i do on procreate or digital work and um, i will post that in the ten dollar tier and then they'll get all previous rewards as well so the podcast the sketches etc etc and then my final one i've wrote down is the marshmallow god which or oh, marshmallow senpai and it's gonna be uh, a q a exclusive video to my 20 dollar patreon so they will ask me questions and i will answer them uh, exclusively to my 20 dollar patrons and then a monthly live stream so i really really like the idea of setting up like a live stream drawing day or just a live stream and having a chat live with uh you guys which will be fun and 20% discount in my Etsy. Now, I really hope that my $20 tier does okay because it'll be a little bit awkward to live stream with just one person. Well, that one person will literally just get to chat to me, so that'll be pretty fun. Um, so I hope that goes okay. And then obviously my q and I would need to fill that up. Um, so yeah, that's what I broke down. If you would like to see any sort of content in particular, uh, leave a comment below. Oh gosh, I'm so snotty because I'm so, so thankful for you guys for supporting me. It really means the world. And don't feel like you need to support me on Patreon. Honestly, don't. Leaving a comment and liking this video is enough, by the way. Um, I do not want you to think that you have to go over there to show your support. You don't. Your support, just watching this video, liking it and commenting below is enough for me and means the world. It honestly does. It really, really does. So don't ever feel pressured. It's just that this is like a little platform for people who would like exclusive access. That's why I'm doing it. So if you're tight for money, do not sign up to my Patreon. Then I'm going to edit and upload it. So yeah, quite a lot to do today. Uh, I also need to illustrate some little bits for the tiers so down the tier section you can add a little illustration at the top and I thought that would be really really cute because a lot of the artists that I follow do that so I also need to do some little illustrations for the graphics on Patreon. So let's go shall we? Hello guys, it is currently Monday and I am literally sat editing this studio vlog. I'm sorry it's late, I like to get my studio vlogs up on a Thursday usually, but I've just been so, so busy with Patreon and thank you so much to everyone who pledged. If you follow me on Instagram and everything like that, you will have seen that I actually posted my Patreon on Friday and I am blown away like i actually feel a little bit emotional about it all um 
we smashed both goals within 24 hours i think it was like maybe 24 or 48 hours we smashed both goals so goal number one was 500 dollars. goal number two was a thousand dollars which is so amazing oh i'm slipping on my chair can't even believe it um I'm, I'm so glad now that i followed my gut instinct and left my client job to pursue patreon because i was really hoping that i'd be able to subsidize uh the loss of income from a client job through opening a patreon and now that it's happened and you guys have supported me it honestly means the world i'm totally overwhelmed sometimes you just have to trust your gut instinct don't you uh so yay for that and i'm just coming at you now on a monday because there is actually a lot more of this vlog to show but i have so much footage from this week it's actually crazy this was going to end up being like a super 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 long studio vlog and i wanted to get this up and not delay the studio vlog any further so i'm going to split the studio vlog into two parts so this is part one and then you'll see part two on Thursday. So I'm so sorry about that, but there is just so much footage. I end up going out um, to Curry's and I buy a new MacBook and I also go for a nice coffee day with Emily and we do some Patreon related stuff there as well. So I'm gonna split the vlog into parts for you <laughs> because it's super, super long, it's crazy. And I can't delay this vlog any longer and it takes me a long time to sit and edit. So I'm gonna upload this now. Thank you so much to everyone um for watching this video don't forget to leave a like and comment below because that is more than enough support and thank you so so much to my patrons for making this possible for me because without your pledges and help i wouldn't be able to post as much content as i do because i, I know a lot of people think emily works for free but she doesn't i actually pay her so <laughs> thank you for helping me support the business and support me in general you honestly mean the world you all do and i love you all so so much so i'll see you for part two on thursday see you soon all right